Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back to the channel. And today, okay, today we're going to be opening up Magic Mixie Mixlings. I know about the Magic Mixies, um, and they went ahead and made dolls out of them, and this is Moose Toys, so of course I'm going to be taking a look. I mean, hello, huge Shoppy fan here. So this is the only one that I found on the shelf. Uh, when I was um, running to Walmart for actually some essential things, I decided to just do a little swoop through the, the uh, toy aisle, and I happened to see this one. So, of course, I grabbed her. Uh, she's got the blue diamond, and I think this is going to end up being the uh, the mermaid or the underwater theme one. So, um, I'm pretty excited. I'm excited for any of them. Um, so, it comes in, like, a potion-type bottle, which, of course, it would, because uh, that's what the mix the Magic Mixies are all about, potions and powers and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, it's in a bottle. Um, on the back here, it says, Mix your potion, and a Pixling doll will magically appear. Uh, I guess, number one, you put all the stuff in. Number two, oh, mag Magicus, Magicus Mixus. And then here's your doll. Enter the enchanted realm of the Magic Mixies Pixlings, where potions flow from waterfalls and fountains. Pixlings spread magic moments and joy throughout all the land. Now, it is your turn to create a magical potion and reveal your Magic Mixies Mixling. Available on YouTube Kids. I don't know if it's a show there. But these are the three you can get in these packagings. And they all have different... I think there's a purple one, a pink one, and then of course this blue one. There's this little hang tag here. Uh, I guess it must say something about it. Oh no, it's got the contents in there and then the warning labels. So that's cool. I don't know how to open this. I'm going to try and see here. I think... Oh, there's a tear strip. It says do not cut. There we go, guys. Uh, ah, there we go. Do not unscrew lid. Start the magic with the potion guide. So let's see. What do we have in here? Here's, ah, here's a red potion bottle. That says number two. Number four. Number five. Number six. Okay, so here's the instructions, guys. So it says, attention, potion making gets messy. Place the potion bottle on a plate for easy pickup. Remove paper ring. Alright, so apparently I pull this paper thing out. Remove that. I think that's where I'm putting stuff in. So now we want to take the uh, number two, which is this. It looks like we rip it open without scissors, so I'm going to just do, to do that. See? I was able to do it. And then we're just going to put this in, pick this up and put it in here. I'm trying to make a mess. Look at it, guys. Can you see it? It's going in. We're, we're doing stuff. It's a super dark blue, though. Well, I guess blue is probably going to be the colors for this. There we go. So there goes that. And then... We need to fill the line with water. Uh, I didn't realize we needed water. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back with the water. You guys see the fill line right there? That's where I'm supposed to fill it up to. So here we go. Perfect. Look at I'm perfect filler. Okay, so now we got all this blue liquid. A lot more blue liquid than we had before. You guys seeing the shimmy shake? All right. Um, boop, boop. So now, after adding all the water in, we're going to go to number four. That's why I didn't have a three, right? Because there was no three. The water was three. Uh, sprinkle in the shimmer scales. So here's our bag of shimmer scales. 
Um, what's for Glimmin? Whatever they are. Here it goes. Um, is that it? I don't know what it was, but it fell down that way. Um, now we have to find five, which is the elixir. Oh, the first one was power elixir. I got it. And this elixir is for magic. This is a magic elixir. I wonder what this is going to do. I think it's the same color. It looks the same color. But we're going to add it anyway. Alright, and uh, number six, right, is our coral charm. Here's the little bottle here. This has been a fun adventure so far, I think. Uh, oh, here's our charm. Our charm is this little piece of coral. And that's what it's actually called a coral charm, right? And we're going to put this in here, and then what do we do? We put, we put that in there, and then we remove the golden ring to reveal the magic words. There it goes. And the magic ring is over here. I think this also is their stand, if I remember correctly. Magicus Mixus. Say the words magimit, magic, Magicus Mixus and push down hard twice on the gem, on the crystal gem. Release and wait for a minute for your, okay. Magicus Mixus. Wait. Magicus Mixus. I can't. Uh, uh. Oh. Magicus Mixus. Am I supposed to spin it? Something's supposed to crack? Oh, I'm supposed to push down hard? Well, I don't want to crack my thing. Hold on. All right. I don't think I have a hard enough surface for this, guys. I'm, I'm freaking out. <laughs> oh, that's because I didn't spin it. Magicus mixes. Okay. Let's watch, guys. Let's watch. Supposedly something's going to happen. I think we pushed it enough. It's going to reveal. It's supposed to reveal. Oh, it's starting to reveal. Look, at there's her feet. Oh my gosh, this is great. How is this working like that? Whatever they're doing for this, this is really cool. I wonder if it's like an oil and a water type thing. But it's it's working like a... Oh, it's working magic. There's her dress. There she is, guys! Oh! Wow, okay. Is this going to go completely clear? We got, we got it. We got to check this out. This might be our only... Our one and only time to do it. Unscrew the lid, pull out the cylinder, and unscrew the cap cylinder. Okay, um, hold on, guys. Okay, it's probably not the best angle, but I guess, apparently, you unscrew this somehow. I don't know how it gets unscrewed, though. Hmm. It says it looks like it turns. Looks like it turns. Oh, there it goes. And that doesn't screw. 
Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Here she is. And she's still, she is in water. She sure looks to be in water. It smells like soap. Uh, uh, just regular suds. Uh, this is a really cool look, though. Maybe she's not still in water. Because her chamber was in. Okay, and I think... This... And then I think I can just unturn, turn this, and then turn... Take this off. And then... Her plastic, she's in there, her plastic. And then it also looks like the collector's guy is in there and submerged in the water. So I'll get that out. Is she in there now? No. Wow, she just came right out. There was no, uh, I just flung it all over myself. There was no, uh, things or anything. Let me just quick clean up. I'll be right back. I want to show you the girl. So, deep down inside the bottom of this was a big pile of, I don't know, soap goo. And I had to pry this out with a... It's soaked. I have to pry, pry the uh, collector's guide that was in the bottom of the girl uh, to show you guys who she is and what her story is. Uh, we already read this at the beginning. It's right on the box, on the front of the bottle. Uh, you have created Marina, the mermaid pixling. Uh, potion power is love. Marina is deep and thoughtful and has the sweetest heart. She creates a magical wave of affection with her power of love. Just a few drops of Marina's sweetheart potion will grant your heart's desire. And then it says scan for more potions. There are also two other girls you could get in this collection. There's Unia and... She is the unicorn pixling, and then Deerly, who is the deer pixling. I've also seen other uh, YouTubers find... There's two other ones, and I think they're exclusive to certain stores. Let me get into this girl, because I've been waiting for... I, I bought. I got her... I picked her up a couple of days ago, and I've been itching to open her, but uh, the process just seems to have been taken so long that I wanted to wait till I had time to take it all in. So I'm taking it all in. Um, I touch that goo and my hands feel sticky, so I don't know, I don't know what's in it. Okay, so here is Marina out of the box, or out of her chamber. First things first, how about this cool stand that is recycled from the, uh, obviously this is the gold ring that you pull out, uh, that has our magic words that we have to say to reveal her. So that's cool, it turns into her stand. Uh, she has a slick back hair, I don't think that there's a part here anywhere? So I don't know if there's a part. I don't think so. Maybe right there? A little bit of one? I don't know. But um, her hair is pink and blue. Mostly blue, it seems, and like with a lot of, a lot of pink highlights. Uh, it's very soft. There's no product that I can feel in it. Not much, if any. Uh, it's got little curls on the bottom. And like I said, it doesn't really have much of a part line, so I guess you can put it up in a ponytail or braid it or do whatever. Um... There might be certain hairstyles that you might be restricted from. But there's the uh, the thickness. So it's it's pretty enough, I think. It's not super full, but it's not empty like a lot I've seen a lot of dolls I've seen in the market thus far lately. Um, so she is, I guess, from an underwater world. But she has these cute little ears here. And then she's got like a little scaling that go across goes across both eyes. But the scaling is like part of the makeup, which is really, really cool. Uh, she has shimmery, light blue skin tone. Her ears have a little sparkle in them, and they are trans translucent blue. Uh, while we're talking about the scaling makeup on her face, she also has a, uh, a pointed style, almost like, I guess, cat or, uh, or owl type style. Pink eyeshadow application on, on top of that or below that. Um, and then... It also hazes out to her cheeks down here. So you get the blush of the cheek and the eye under there. And then um, she's got a really deep blushy nose. And, and like an orange-red type lipstick. 
And uh, they are in like a pucker lip, so you can see her teeth a little bit. Um, and she also has this round, like, orb thing. Probably some kind of power orb or something in, in between her eyebrows. It's it's kind of cool. Um, and she has brown eyes. People, Something people have mentioned, though, they are printed on or um, stamped on eyes. So they are pixelated ever so slightly, but not in the pixelation that I think is bad. I don't think it, it doesn't bother me. Uh, for articulation, I don't know. She's got a long neck here, but uh, so her head pivots back and forth and up and down in all kinds of ways. Uh, she has shoulder joints that go up and down and all around. Uh, she has elbow joints that you can make her arms do whatever that. No wrist articulation, but I think it's okay for these mini dolls. Uh... Nothing at the waistline, but uh, we do have, you can sit and stand, and I think do the splits this way. Yep. No knee joints, which I is unfortunate. I, I really kind of wish that we could have got some knee action in there, but um, I can deal with it. I can deal with it. In the style of shoppies, though, they do have molded on tops, which most people are a little bit mm, about. Um, I think if... It's an, on mini dolls. If it's done proper, it can work. Like she has a like a spaghetti strap, almost like a I would say bathing suit top on. But it's not just molded there, or just painted there. It's molded and painted on, so you can see that there's scaling. In in a different tone blue. Uh, kind of texture that goes across that. And then we have two little hearts that are painted pink with little tassels and then pink straps that go back in the back here. And then she even has a tie that's molded on and painted on. And then there's the snap for that. So I think a good job on the tops. And then she has a belly button. And then her scales go down. I think she has molded on, a molded on undergarment, but let's just see. Because obviously her skirt is fabric. And it has Velcro, so it's actually nicely made. Yep, so there's her underwear, I guess. So, not really a matching bottom. They should have, they had opportunity though there to do a um, bathing suit bottom. But anyway, here's her skirt. It's very cute. Um, it has at least two different types of fabrics on it. You have this trans, um, you have this holographic uh, pink and purpley scaled swirly stuff, I don't know, going on, hearts on the top there with a hemmed waistline and a hemmed bottom, and then this really cute little pink shimmery lace that goes around the bottom. And I wanted to also talk about how these little things on her ears are also down here on her calves, and she does have removable shoes or sandals um, that are Transparent light bubblegum pink, and then uh, like a pearlescent blue on the bottom there. There's the hole for the stand, and if you look really close, you can see scaling and a heart there, and a heart there. Overall, I'm impressed. Uh, for twenty six dollars, we'll probably wait for a sale to get more. I don't know. And that's all we have for you guys today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.